Hi Aries, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in to your destiny reading. We'll be using a couple of tarot decks to see what you are destined for um, in this lifetime. So super excited to be doing this reading. If you'd like a private reading, please feel free to email me. Um, otherwise, let's get into it. See what comes up for the sign of Aries. What are you destined to receive? Okay, you're destined to make a dramatic move, Aries. It could be a living situation, it could be travel. Um, there's something to do with foreign environments, people, continents, countries, places. Um, you're destined to be on the move or you're destined to visit some of these sites. Um, you could be destined for a long distance connection or a long distance relationship or destined to move to make two big moves in your lifetime um, or destined to live between two different places. It could be different countries, cities or states. The Knight of Swords has come up twice, so you're destined to rush two things in your life, one of which you may lose with the Five of Swords. I feel like with the Five of Swords, you're destined to walk away from an unhealthy situation. Um, or you're destined to heal or work your way through any sort of mental issues or clarity or communication, bumps, bruises, barriers. Um, so if it's like a language communication, you're destined to work through it. Um, if it's a reading disorder or some something to do with mind or matter, um, anxiety, depression even, any sort of mental circumstances that somehow impair you um, or you feel like you can't be your best self, you're destined to work through them and to leave them behind. There may be a, a third party situation that you're destined to walk away from and destined to move, um, move forward from completely. I feel with the Knight of Swords coming up twice, it's telling me that there's two things, could be a relationship or two dramatic moves that you may rush in your lifetime. But it's almost like you need to, you, you'll need to do that to sort of learn something from it. I, I get that there's a lesson to be learned here. Um, two Knight of Swords and two Pentacles. There's two big factors coming up and I almost feel like you have a massive choice that you're going to have to make in this life. Could be between two different people, two different careers, two different living situations. It seems to be pretty dramatic, okay? It seems to be pretty large scale um, is what I'm seeing. There's a lot of air energy, so I'm wondering if you're destined to end up with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um... You've got the Eight of Chalices, Eight of Cups. I feel like there's something to do about dreams, ambitions, visions. So it's either you're destined to fulfill your dreams or you're destined to help other people fulfill theirs somehow. Um, it's almost like clearing the path. You may, uh, It's almost like you may need to be in some sort of leadership role or you may need to be in a role where you inspire others. Um, because that is going to have profound effects in your life, not only internally, but also to the people that you connect and you work with. Um, so I almost feel like there's something about clearing the air and having a vision. You may be destined to work in imports, exports. Um, like I said, long distance relationship, marriage, a civil partnership, a travel visa. It could be some sort of legal documentation that will take you all around the world. Uh, you're destined to work in a place or in an industry where you will be able to move to locate to different cities, countries, states, um, see parts of the world is, is coming up. I, I do get a sense of adventure. We also have family here, so you're destined to have a family um, or become a parent maybe or a grandparent. Uh, it could be that you're destined to either meet someone who already has children. It's almost like you're forming this very humble, full family unit. Um, so it's very, very enriching. Some of you are destined to be like uh, foster parents. Um, so you're either going to adopt or you're going to be adopted into a family, for example. And they may not be your blood family, but they're going to feel much more than a blood family ever could, for example. Um, and I really love that because I feel like that's going to be really important for you. Um, and, it, you know, it's, it, it's coming up around you very significantly. So, yeah, that's... that's um, really fantastic to see um i feel like the infinity symbol is like this large eight and you have the eight of chalices eight has come up twice and eight is a number of abundance 
So you could be destined to have a lot of wealth and success in your lifetime. This is being life being abundant for you in all areas. So I don't feel like you're going to have a lot of dull moments. You know, you've got the five of wands reversed, the five of swords. Life is going to be a cons it's a bit of a roller coaster here for you. There's going to be a lot of highs, a lot of lows and this really anticipating energy, but it's exciting at the same time. So I feel like you have like this thrill seeking life that's ahead of you or a thrill seeking relationship or career. Um, and that's what's going to make it exciting. And you need this Aries as this fire sign. Um, you need to feel challenged and you need to feel excited. Um, and I feel like that's the kind of life uh, that you're destined for which is really, really fantastic. Um, the Knight of Swords could also indicate that you're destined to be in law or you're destined to speak out, maybe against the environment, maybe against, you know, speak out on behalf of charities, on behalf of causes. There's something that you are deeply passionate about and you're destined to be a voice behind that passion or a voice for that passion or for that cause. So if there's something that crosses your mind that I'm saying, it could very well be that you should be an advocate, a brand ambassador, a champion for one of those things. Um, because you have this, this fire in you um, and whichever way it needs to come out, it's almost like you're destined to have that play out in your life and you're destined to be in this role of only where you can make those things happen. You know, it could be working with families, housing, it could be um, helping people walk away from situations, rehabilitation, addictions, recovery. This could be your strong suit. And this could be something that you are fated to fulfill or fated to enter into. Um, if it's a sort of industry, for example, um, so yeah, I feel like the five of ones reversed is telling me you're destined to be a mediator of some sort. Um, could be like you're going to be the mediator in your marriage or your long-term relationship. Um, it could be that you're the one to sort of help quell arguments. It could be like um, complaints or law cases, legalities. You're sort of destined to be in that role, I feel. Um But I feel like with the four of chalices, you're very psychic. So you're fated to be in touch with the gods or in touch with nature or in touch with your higher self. It's almost like this very profound gift or ability that you have, um, that you have either tapped into already or you will very, very soon. And it's very likely that you'll be in touch with that gift and ability um, and use it as, as a strong point. So... Uh, really fantastic and powerful reading for you Aries but I do hope it has been enjoyable don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also to subscribe to the channel would love to join would love you to join the YouTube family um, all you have to do is hit the bell notification button on the subscribe uh, part of the channel otherwise I'm sure I'll catch you very soon thanks again Aries and bye for now